I know, but there he is. It's a bundle of joy. You know that? I know. You gotta. I mean, the people love being around you. Yeah. Really. Shocker, ain't it? An absolute shocker. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend? I know. Yeah, I do. Hey, brother. Nine months. Brother, you know what going? you need to do, brother. Me, me. Get the fuck out. Nah, we're healthy she, with she, it. She's insane. It's my healthiest relationship ever, man. That's not saying much. It is. What is we it? don't ever argue. The only thing we ever bicker oh. about is like food. Y'all never like, argue. We, Once we again, brother. Once again. Me, me. And if she says argue. if she says something crazy, I definitely I'm chill. Like I said, like I'm really nonchalant. Don't believe it. Oh. I'm nonchalant right now, aren't I? I'm chilling. All right, brother. We'll be seeing the end of that relationship. It's been nine months. So in a year, guess what? That relationship. No way, Jose. Absolutely. I got him stuck. Are you smoking marijuana? Maybe. Do I need to shield it? Uh, gravity bong and everything. Hey, young man. Do I need to shield it? No, you don't need to shield it. Okay. I'm just making sure you said you're a content creator, so I don't know if I should like. What are the air quotes? What's the air quotes for? I mean, like, I'm talking about like if you're recording or not. Like, I don't want like you know like to bust down your shit. You know, have you get swatted down or some stupid shit? Swatted for marijuana. Yeah, I don't know. Random people calls on like people. You know. I I saw someone live one time and. Some viewer called the SWAT team on their asses. Yeah, but those guys tend to be bigger. I mean, yeah, Jeffrey Star got swatted. Yeah, Jeffrey Star. <laughs> well, it was on live stream. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> shit was crazy. <coughs> Man, that's why you smoke, madam. <coughs> what? <coughs> you done? <coughs> yeah. What did you say? Why do you smoke, madam? Why do I smoke? Um, I enjoy being high, I guess. Um, it makes me eat 10 times more, too, so I can actually gain weight. I've gained, like, over, like, 20 pounds the past two months now, which is nice, because I was underweight, and now I weigh 130, so, like, I'm straight on now. Um, helps my temper. You know, I feel temper. like temper. Yeah, I'm not a temper, <laughs> more of like what would I call it? Like my annoyance. Like if somebody annoys me, I can't really get annoyed when I'm high. Like I don't really care. You know, I just don't give a fuck. Why not work on that without the marijuana though? I I've I have I don't really depend on marijuana. It's not like an addiction. Or some I do every day. It's more so like just some I do whenever I want to chill and relax and just. How often is that? Vibe. You know. Uh, like. Hmm. Twice a week, and it's usually at night. Like if I'm laid back, just you know. Nighttime. Did your boyfriend smoke? Uh, not right now. Nah. What do you mean not right now? Um, we went camping a few months ago, and we had weed on us, and uh, he was put on probation for it because he claimed it was his and shit. Oh, so he went down for you? Not really for me. For everybody that was there, I guess. So where you smoke like, is, it, it is was, it, so it's illegal where you smoke. Hmm. It's illegal where you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're weird about that shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. They think it's like the devil scent type shit. I mean there are reasons. You get caught with I guess like you get caught with more than a gram, you go to jail, you know. I mean, to be fair, there are some issues going on with marijuana in states that have it legalized because unlike where you live where it's not legalized in states that it is 
We have concentrates. And the concentrates have really been messing up our people. Where I'm assuming you're smoking. You mean concentrates like dabs? That's a form of it. Yeah, there's different forms of concentrates. Oh. Dab, dabs is like a lower form. You have shatter. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You have shatter. You have butter. I would have thought that'd be like a big form of concentrate, you know, because it's squished all in and, like, you know, it's depleted mm. out of the bud. No, not if you're smoking like process. shatter or something, because shatter is just a low form of marijuana with butane. Hmm. I don't know. If, I mean, if you want to spend a good dollar, if you want to spend a two or three hundred dollars a gram, yeah, you can get it. Great concentrates, but most people who recreational aren't gonna spend three hundred dollars a gram unless they're making that kind of money. Yeah, true. So, probably, Even then, I feel like it'd be better to save your money. Well, I just, it depends. If you're making that kind of money, it it's, it'd be the same thing as you spending ten bucks. It's all relative. I. Mean, I <coughs> I come from a wealthy family and even then I was raised to a point where like even though you got it like that you shouldn't live it like that you know what I mean like <coughs> if you're bringing in if you're bringing in three hundred thousand dollars a year three hundred dollars a gram is not gonna break the bank for you but I'm just like I don't know I guess like it's more so of like how my family put on like to me how it's supposed to be done I guess but like, I get what you're saying. You have but, that money, you put it in stocks, and you just don't touch it, and you touch like a different sum amount of money instead. I get what you're saying, but it's all it is relative though. Do you spend money on marijuana? Yeah. How much do you spend for a gram? Um, twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. So imagine a person who's making three hundred k. Three hundred dollars to them would be like ten cents. Yeah. No, I understand that. Yeah. So to them, it's. it's it's not like, like uh, such a. When I go it, shopping with my boyfriend, he like his heart drops every time because like I'll just grab, 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 grab because that's like I just act. I'm just like a. It's like retail therapy, I guess. Like I kind of accidentally grasp onto just shopping whenever I'm like not in the mood. I'll shop, and um, we'll go to the cash register and like it's racking up hundred, two hundred, three hundred, five hundred, six hundred. You know, and he's like looking at me like. You know, like, bitch, are you going to put anything back? And um, he'll be like, damn. Like, he'll say it loud as fuck, too. And I'm like, bitch, shut up. Sh sh He's like, damn, $800? I'm like, shh. <laughs> like, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, the whole store does not need to know that at all. Um, Is he spending the $800? Really like, or are you buying that stuff? I'm, it's, I, me, I, um, bad. I'm really bad with spending money. I like. I have to go like get a storage area because I just I have so much stuff. I just buy like clothes, and like just tons and tons of clothes, like and anything and everything. Like, it's bad, man. I just don't know when to stop. You know, like I bu I buy non-essential things like that and stuff whenever I like I know better like you know I know I should be like buying some probably some other things that I would need how wealthy are you um uh, my family owns a uh multi-millionaire company yeah well how much Where I they, mean how much, they, how much how much do you have they access raised to? um See, that depends because I'm, I have a trust fund, but I'm not, I haven't been able to like grasp a hold of it yet. You know, I don't have access to it. Um, I forgot the age. They told me some age that I have to wait. Normally 18. For. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't think so because I'm 20 and I'm, I don't have access to it unless my mom just like is like, fuck that <laughs> and holding it all off on me. Um, which is probably a good thing anyways. It's probably a good thing. But I do have access to, like, another account. And, like, it has, like, a budget on it, you know. And, like... Yeah, what's your budget? Just, like... On the card I use, which is, like, a... 
it's like Disney Rewards. So like every time I spend money on it, it goes to like rewards for Disney. Whenever I go again to Disney World and whatever, you know, Universal, blah, blah, blah. It gives me points, which is nice. Very nice. Um, but I think like <clears throat> it usually rebalances every month, you know, um, but I think it's like 8,000 a month, you know, I have on there. So when you go shopping, you're only spending 10% of your... It'll rebalance, you know. (laughs) So when you go shopping, you only spend 10% of your money? Yeah, I don't... I mean, like, technically, yeah. But um, I splurge. I really splurge. I don't mean to. Are you cranking through the full 8,000? I did recently. Um, Uh, And I didn't even think I was shopping that much, to be honest. But... My card hasn't been working for the past two days because it's rebalancing still. Um, it takes forever. I love it. Um, so, yeah. It's it's kind of bummy because I didn't expect I spent that much. But I think it's because I, I just got new makeup because all the other makeup I had expired. And makeup racks up to be a lot um, in reality. Especially the good makeup. The Charlotte Tilbury like brand design. Like... That shit's expensive. And that's what I wear. So <clears throat> it's like I think the foundation is like yeah, it's like this this big, you know, and like it goes for like sixty, seventy dollars. <laughs> but it's not that but it's amazing. It's worth the quality. Like the quality is amazing, you know. So like Yeah, I buy I buy cologne for about hundred two hundred dollars a bottle. Not yeah, yeah. I I love I love buying perfume. I feel like it was a big thing of mine. Especially, I like um the Gucci one. That one's nice. It's like in this colorful bottle. And then I like the uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. But yeah, I love perfume. I collect it. Yeah, I like colognes too. I've been the next one I really want to get into is Tom Ford. They're a little up there, but I would try to Tom Ford. Yeah, I, I've been hearing good things. Not that I know, but I'm, I would love See, to try. I gave uh, I gave my boyfriend some Savage, Savage, whatever the fuck. Oh yeah. Um, for Christmas, it was like by Dior or whatever the fuck. I don't know, but um, that shit smells like heaven on earth, man. I ain't gonna lie. I love that shit. I love the smell of colognes too. It's just, oof. Especially if it's some nice cologne. Like, oof. That's nice. Like, you know, let me huff that shit real quick. <clears throat> that's what's up. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad we got off on a different foot because it was going south there for a second. <clears throat> you know, shit happens, man. Girl, you're smoking it up right now, though. Golly. Are you stressed? My bad. No, I'm just really fucking addicted. I'm trying to. I've been trying to stop for like three months, and I think that's what's stressing me. Oh, that's more nicotine. Vaping more. Yeah. Oh. I really fucking hate it, man. I try to order these like flumes online, and like I heard so much rave about them. Ended up the flavors were like putrid as fuck, man. Like, oh my god, I don't even know what the fuck. It tasted like carbonated fucking juice. But, like, no smoke came out. It was just, like, you just put, like, this package in there. And you... And it... Straight doo-doo in your mouth, man. I spit a good... Pretty penny on that for, like, a deal. Like, a package deal of, like, all the flavors. I tried all the flavors. You know. So, I'm just, like... I don't want a cold turkey, though. But, like, I feel like I might have to cold turkey. Gonna be rough. That's what I'm saying. Like my boyfriend, he vapes. It's like I'm gonna be around that shit. Let's have a conversation. I've asked him. I was like, I was like, you know, can you stop vaping with me? And he's like, I can't do that. And I was like, you're saying that, but like you're telling me to like stop. You know. Speaking of this boyfriend, I want to have a quick conversation about that. You've been together nine months. Yeah. Uh, y'all plan on getting married? 
I mean, eventually, not anytime soon. Why um, is that? Um, I got a lot of go- going on. Meaning? I mean, you got a lot going on. You have a boyfriend. Yeah, I have a boyfriend and we live together, but I have a lot going on, like life change wise, you know, like a lot is changing my life for me. So. Okay, so how long are you planning? I mean, <clears throat> whenever the time is right, but later on. The dumb, when you say the time is right, but that's your choice. Like, is he ready to get married? I don't. Mm, mm, yeah. No. We, yeah. What? We both like want to get married later on. Like I have promise ring, you know, like and all that, you know, and like I, it's, it's a promise to like get engaged to marry, you know, but not not right now, man. I'm. I would be so much to plan and all this shit. I just don't. I. I'm trying to get a new car right now. Like, I'm not, like... Getting a car is more important than getting married? No, it's not important. But I feel like we're already, like... Playing house? Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's just... So, if you're already doing it, what does it take to walk down to the courthouse? That would be getting it be... That would mean be... Getting... Elope. No, that's not elope. That elope is getting secretly. No, elope. Elope is when you run off oh. and get secretly married. <laughs> Courthouse is official marriage. I thought eloping was like whenever you do like it, you just go to the. No, court when you, and when you, you get married, papers. regardless, even if you had a wedding, you're gonna have to still go down to the courthouse. You're not oh. gonna be able to avoid that. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, fifty bucks. So then you have to have like a chosen witness or what? No, the, you have a uh, person who's notary. Uh, you have a notary person there already. Oh, okay. That's what the courthouse is for, yeah. But I just, I don't know, man. I'm only only twenty. You know what I mean? Like, what does that mean? You know, women's like, women's not... women's clock is shorter than men. So when you say you're only twenty, you've only got fifteen years. Once you hit thirty, huh? Well, once you hit thirty, right. once you have, once you hit thirty-five, you can no longer I'm have not kids. I'm saying like waiting forever, and like I'm already like you know, so. What's gonna What's gonna happen in two years that can't happen? That's gonna that you can't get married now. I just getting married is a lot, man. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. It's a lot in general. A lot of money. Like fifty bucks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Like how I want to have a wedding, though. You can have it later. It would be a lot of money. You, I would not do that. You're not. Oh, so you, you're willing to wait, save a ton of money to get. Like I just. Because the fact that you have to save the money makes it sound like that money's not there. It's not me saving money. It's just I just don't want to like do like a whole wedding right now in general. Like it's just you don't have to. Why? You don't have to do the wedding We're part. Already, that, like, you know, I'm chilling. Exactly. You're, you're already doing what some people. Right now. You're already doing the what people would consider marriage. I don't shacking up get in the. Married right now. So are you afraid? No, I'm not afraid. I just don't want to get married right now. Simple as that. I don't know. So why do you? We've only been together for like nine months to only. Like, People who get married within six months and marriage We're almost, 30 years. I mean, like, that's the new generation, though, man. That's the new generation. That's <clears throat> that's what you see a lot of times is a lot of younger couples getting married now. And, like, I, I am going to still be young when I get married, you know. But, like, I just, like, I wear my promise ring and I wear, I, and I wear another ring on my other ring finger. So, like... Technically, the public probably thinks that I'm married, but I'm not. Who cares what they think? I don't care, but I like to like look like I'm like you know taken, so, you know. So, so I wear rings on all my fingers. <laughs> okay, so you so you you shack up together, y'all do. I'm sure y'all are yeah. intimate together. I'm sure, y'all use contraceptives. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm. <clears throat> You're pregnant? That's why I gotta stop vaping. Yeah. So you're willing to have a child right now and still not get married? 
like I said, I can't get married right now if I'm having a baby. I would have to wait. L- courthouse. I'm not. Why do? Well, let me ask you a question. Why do you see having a baby as less committal than being married? You're like that's so ma- one of us, you know. So many women are willing to yeah. have a baby outside of marriage. They're willing to have a baby first and then have marriage second. Why? See, I wanted to have a baby first. I mean, I wanted to have marriage first and get married, and then get walked down the aisle, and then have a baby a few like you know, like maybe a year later or whatever. Duh, duh, duh. That was my fairy tale. But like, instead, I you- I wasn't taking fucking birth control. I wasn't taking plan B regularly like I was before because someone had told me it would fuck up my reproductive system. And, it and does. then as soon as that happened, I got pregnant. And at what first is- I was scared. It's a really scary fucking thing. It's a whole change in my life because I was modeling before I got pregnant. And so the whole thing switched. And I'm still trying to get to used to this lifestyle. Like, I don't even know how the fuck to dress half the time. Because none of my fucking outfits fit anymore. I don't know how the fuck to look cute and shit. Because nothing cute is out for maternity shit. You know? It's fucking enjoyable. Like, I'm happy. You know, I got, I'm having I, a little baby boy. Wait a minute. Wait a know? minute. Let's let's take so. one step back before I continue. So, you, you're smoking <laughs> marijuana and vaping while this child is in your belly? Or in your uterus? Yeah, I'm stopping. Because I have to, I'm stopping like today and drinking like a hell of a lot of chip pickle juice tomorrow. Wait, what's tomorrow? Yeah. I mean, today, because it's 12 a.m. Today, I'm going to drink like hella pickle juice whenever I wake up and it's a detox. And I'm going to stop all this shit. That's why I'm saying I'm a cold turkey in my fucking vape. Because like, there's no other option. I've tried every option. It just doesn't work. It does right. not work. You said you're too young to get married, but not too young to have a baby. I'm too young to have a baby, I do believe. Yes, I'm too young. I'm immature, man. Like, do you... <laughs> But I do have a good head on my shoulders, though. First of all... Two away. I have, you know, once you get pregnant, you gain these instincts. You know? Women had babies when they were young all the time. My grandmother, your great-grandmother, they had kids young. So it's not a maturity <laughs> thing. That's up to you. Second girl, listen, you do what you want. Sure, you live your life. All I'm saying... Is if you are willing to have this, if this man is good enough for you to have a baby with, he got to be good enough to just go ahead and get married. Y'all already played house. I just, Y'all did all the things, not all the things married people did because you're I not married. But still, expected you know that to happen. Well, we're here now, though. That's part of being mature. You're here now, so exactly. Don't be raising so, the baby outside of wedlock. You might as well just go ahead. I mean, your parents should already know I you're just, pregnant, right? Yeah. My, did your dad yeah. approve of the man you're with? My, I don't talk to my dad. Oh, you don't talk to him at all? Not really, no. Did your mother approve of this? talk to him every once in a while. Okay, did your mother approve of this? Okay, so what's the problem? You think she's going to be mad if he... She feels like we're too young right now, too. You're here. You're here now. We have to focus, you know. No, I'm just like... Yeah, you said you were worried about... And then give it some time. Like, get used to the fucking lifestyle of everything changing and then, y'all are committed you know, to each other regardless now for 18 years 18 years you're most definitely. down the pipe and i hope we're plus more you know exactly so up the pipe that's what i'm saying up. with the marriage you're, you're saying like we're too young to get married it's like you're already committed to him now 18 years no matter what happens y'all are going to be somewhat connected him, mm-hmm. i just feel like i don't know man just think about I it. Just, 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 just ponder on it. You're going to do what you're going to do. Yeah, I just, well, like I said, I want him to be ready too. I'm not going to do that. I'm like, <laughs> baby, he's going, here now. You know? He's having a baby. There ain't he's no, definitely. you hope he's here. But I just, I don't. If he wasn't ready to be a man, rush, he shouldn't have been doing right things now. that men do, which is having babies. <clears throat> if he wasn't ready to get married to you, Ma'am, he can't be popping out babies. That's, just doesn't that's, take one, you know. What? It doesn't take one to tango, though. So I already gave you your spill, didn't I? No, I told I've been I, telling you the same just, thing. Get married. I've been telling you the same thing. No, fuck no. Why is that such a big deal for you, man? Like fuck that. Because when a child is born out of wedlock, 
And then if you guys decide not to work out, statistically, the kid's going to be at a disadvantage. It's, it's, it's like as if you young people don't care about the child. Y'all pop out babies and not get married. And so now the kid has some, some way possibly bo- be born with split parents. That affects children. You, if you, if you had enough gall to get together, not use contraceptives, as you said, it messes up your reproductive system, which is why people were supposed to get married to have kids. So you don't have to run into those issues. If y'all were already married, the birth control would have never been an issue. Because, oh, man. girl, I've been your age. I met many of women like you. You're not my first. I met many of men. Just, I'm assuming your man's 22. Long, long, you know. No, he's 21. Okay, 21. Met many I'm men, sure. him to the age. I've mentored a ton of men. I'm, I'm just letting you know. Though. Do what you, yeah, sure. you're right. You're a grown ass woman. You do what you want. I'm just giving my suggestion. You got that baby? Just do the right thing. Always. All right, girl. <laughs>